What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today is going to be an episode in my typically done short format series of cologne you can wear every day. So basically what I'm going to be doing is emphasizing a little bit more on certain fragrances and making those lists into a more in-depth and rather than just doing three to five, we're going to be talking about 10 here today. So buckle in, hit that subscribe button and the likes and let's go ahead and get started with the first fragrance on this list that you could easily get for under 50 bucks. It's called Moschino Toy Pearl 2, if I'm not mistaken. They have a lot of them. So this was a pleasant surprise. I ended up blind buying because I saw quite a few of the different notes. Notes of this fragrance included something like lemon, sorbet, there was also the note of sand, cypress, and musk, and everything about it sounded like, wow, okay, this might be a great summertime fragrance, specifically the whole sand thing. And while diving into like Pacific chill and afternoon swim, I was in a beachy vibe, basically. I saw a couple of reminds me of labels of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Her. And that's actually a really good fragrance, gentlemen, that you could easily rock and get away with. I've in fact gotten more compliments while wearing the women's version because of that crisp green apple than I've ever gotten rocking the original Dolce & Gabbana light blue. In fact, I would say that it's a better fragrance overall. The overall vibe of the fragrance will give you something or remind you of fragrances like that, except it has a bit more body and depth to it because of that cypress dry down, some of those woods that really creates this long lingering effect. It lasted for me a good seven to eight hours and I am wearing this more so in the summertime, but you could easily rock this any season. Uh, aside from that, it doesn't necessarily have that crisp green apple, but that lemon sorbet is relatively cooling, almost in a literal sense. So the sand accord as well will give you the vibe of just summertime happiness, basically. Unisex, happy, fresh, and an easy daily scent. You can find this, I believe I bought this exact bottle for $35, but you have been warned, it is something that's relatively light. Unisex as well, and it really does recreate the whole uh, lemon sorbet vibe with being on the sand or being near the sand, basically. It smells like it might have the note of calories as well, which is responsible for giving this melon-like accord and a watery vibe to it. Nevertheless, great and actually pleasantly surprised with the performance. This is one where I was like, man, I'm just gonna buy this and probably throw it. Like, what is this even? But no, it's actually pretty cute and it turned out to be a solid-ass summertime fragrance. You could wear it literally every single day in the summertime. If you live in uh, down in the south or in climates where it's just stupid hot and you want something that's not offensive or anything like that, and actually a little bit more than just not offensive, this is one is worthy of checking out for sure. Moving on to the next one. This is called Lutafa's Liam Blue. Similar style of occasions, but you can carry it on even to a little bit cooler weather, like the spring and potentially even the fall time, because this lasts like seven hours as well. Solid performer and a bit closer to Profundo than something like Azaro Chrome Extreme. While that's still a fragrance I would recommend, I would say that that's more of an aromatic-based fragrance, and you'll still pop probably see that in a future list. I've got a lot of the Chrome series or the Chrome fragrances and flankers. We'll be talking about that in a future video as well. So if you want to smell fresh, more citruses, more aquatic, marine, woody, and definitely more masculine than something like this. You can wear this to school, gym, office, literally everywhere. These are all blind buy worthy fragrances. Unless I say something specific, then it might not be the safest blind buy. And that would be the case with this one. Easy, versatile, mass appealing, and likely will get you compliments. Latafa's Liam Blue. Moving on to the next one. This is called Latafa's Thoda Silver. Smells a lot like Ralph's Club Parfum. Actually smells pretty damn high quality. One of the ones where I feel like deserves a lot more attention because Ralph's Club smells pretty damn good. Although mass appealing and not groundbreaking, it is still pretty compliment worthy. The perfect office, gym, and everywhere fragrance that you can wear every single day. For under $50, you're getting something that damn near smells like it has that Ralph's Club vibe in general. And that's honestly mind blowing for me personally. So under 50 bucks, I mean, it's kind of a good thing that it didn't get hyped because it kept it relatively fair in pricing. A solid fragrance for gym goer, office goer, if you like citruses, a little bit of aromatic clary sage style and vetiver fragrances, you're definitely gonna enjoy this one. Moving on to the next one, this is a little bit older. It's Hugo Just Different. And this is fresh, green, spicy. That's still deserving of the mention. Not only nostalgic, but smells really damn good. I wouldn't say that it gives me any more than about six and a half hours, but the note of this is actually pretty attention grabbing as well. Most notably, attention grabbing is going to be the green apple and the mint. That combination is magical in this fragrance. Don't shit on it, cause it's cheap, it smells great. I wish it would last longer, but yeah, that opening is something else. Green, fresh, crisp apple, and then you have that mint along with some basil, coriander, freesia, and it dries down into something with patchouli, a little bit of resins. It's not the most complex fragrance in the world. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about a note breakdown and tell you guys that, oh my God, I get the olibanum, but I genuinely get the olibanum in this one. So for whatever it's worth, I get this clean olibanum, Granny Smith, crisp green apple, and mint. Amazing, and yes, it's still worth the pickup for sure. No more than six and a half hours, but definitely 
definitely one of one of the best, man, for the fresh summertime vibes for sure. We got to the next one. This is called Rehan Pacific for $30 or less. Actually, I think you can find it for 27 bucks. It's a no-brainer. Yes, it smells like Hayati and Hawas and all of those fragrances. Absolutely does. Let's first compare it to Hayati. How does it smell? Hayati is around 18 to 22 bucks. This definitely smells better in quality. It's not as musky and just has, well, doesn't have that cheap undertone to it. Now let's compare it to the higher end Hawas. Does it smell like Hawas? Yes, it's actually much closer to something like Hawas, but not quite there. Hawas can be had for 35 if you're lucky, upwards of like $55. This is 28 to $25. At the price, it's absolutely worth the grab and you could easily rock it every day. Although I personally love Ocean Rush, it's pretty simple and this definitely has to be one of the more compliment worthy or compliment getting fragrances. Gentlemen, if you like more like Aqua de Jo meets a little bit of fabric softener, then Ocean Rush is a solid one as well. In terms of the performance for this, I would say no more than about seven, seven and a half hours. It's pretty realistic to expect out of that fragrance and occasions every single day. Moving on to the next one, this is Fragrance World's Feroce Por Om. If you have a thing for grapefruit, you like Bulgari Tiger and all those vibes, this doesn't smell like Tiger, but it does smell like Dolce & Gabbana. I believe it's Forever, and Forever has that very naturalistic smelling grapefruit. This actually does it a favor by toning it down just a little bit. You still get that naturalistic smelling grapefruit and be careful with those style fragrances because they can, the stringency of it can come off a little bit like BO. That's not the case with this one and uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the case with the Dolce & Gabbana Forever. If it works for you, that's cool, but this one is definitely something you can wear every single day during the spring and summertime as well. If you enjoy it, you want a cheaper alternative, this is a really good fragrance as well that smells designer-esque quality for sure. Moving on to the next one, for those of you who want a little bit more mature, grown man vibes, this is like Essad on steroids. It's also like Sauvage Elixir, but hefty dose of vanilla, making the nutmeg and spice a lot more tame and easier to wear. This is so sexy and easily my favorite uh, Sauvage Elixir inspo. I wouldn't necessarily say clone, this because it's much more of a twist. It's called Wraith by Khedlej. Unbelievable. I absolutely love the scent profile. It definitely smells designer quality, this one, and I can't say that for a lot of the other ones. So it's definitely more vanillic. Make sure to spray this one on close, gentlemen, because you do lose a lot with the atomizer of this one. I don't want to spray and get my whole room filled up, but the pressurized atomizer on a lot of these fragrances, you end up losing quite a few juice. Lasts for me eight to 10 hours easily, smells amazing, gets me compliments, barbershoppy, modern, vanillic, super sexy. You could wear it every single day and to dates and some. That's how I feel about Wraith personally. Moving on to the next one, this is a little bit fresher, white florals. If you like One Million Parfum, even if you like YSL Myself, give this one a chance. It's called Fakar Gold. This is basically tuberose, salty, one million style DNA. So white florals and uh, sweetness, ambers, vanillas, etc. It smells a lot like, and it is an actual clone of One Million Gold Parfum, basically. Lasts all day, so up to nine hours, basically. And the projection is actually pretty damn good. Gentlemen, if you like white florals, sweet smelling fragrances, that's the one to check out for sure. You could wear it every single day, gym, school, and everything. I would say that maybe go a little bit lighter at the gym because those white florals do wear a little bit thick. Next one on this list is called Posh Serious by Fragrance World. Although not my favorite take or twist or inspo of Sedley, it's definitely the closest one. In fact, it gives me damn near the same quality or longevity, I should say, as Sedley. I wouldn't report getting more than about five and a half, six hours out of this, but it is still longer lasting than a lot of the other inspo that I personally have and enjoy, like Maher Legacy, etc. It lasts longer for sure, at least for me. You can wear this one easily every single day to the gym, school, office, literally everywhere. Inoffensive, easy, mass appealing, and potentially even compliment getting. I mean, at the price point, you can't go wrong with it. Rather than spending 220 bucks on a fragrance that, at least for me, doesn't last more than five hours, I would much, much rather go for something like that. Finishing things off with Hadlej Integrity. If you like the Stronger With You DNA, this is a bit more of a twist and something like that. It's a bit fresher than the original Stronger With You and the original Stronger With You I personally absolutely love. It's one of my top 10 designers and uh, much more versatile than most people think. This kind of lightens it up, freshens it up and keeps the level of spices though. So it does have those spice, a little bit of nutmeg, softens out the whole uh, sweet nutmeg vibe and adds a bit more of a freshness coming from those citruses at the top. You could wear this every single day if you wanted to. Sweet, it might get a little bit too much even for me wearing it every day 
day, but if you wanted to and you like those sweet fragrances, you definitely can. I would say the same thing for Stronger With You. Although I have worn it on a daily basis, even during the summertime, it can get a little bit annoying when you're wearing a lot of these sweet fragrances consistently. Really, when you're wearing anything too consistent, it gets annoying and boring, basically. So integrity, amazing, not boring, smells great, especially for the price, an absolute no-brainer. All of these are bangers for under 50 bucks that you could wear literally every single day. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Until the next one, peace.